Good morning. Welcome to another Natural Accent Hardwood Floors project. I'm just going to take you through what we're starting this week. It's going to be about a three week project, uh, 600 feet of um, hardwood going in, red oak, and steps. We're also changing the trim to white painted. So, uh, quickly take you through it. We'll walk through the project and just show you what the before looks like so that when we're finished up, you can see the transformation. So here's our stack of wood acclimating. We usually get it in uh, one to two weeks for red oak uh, early. We also have got a humidifier in here just because uh, we want to acclimate it to about 35% Fargo, which is um, a little bit more moisture than most houses have this time of year. So we just wanted to add a little bit, make sure that we don't get it too dry for before installing. Um, so this is the living area that we'll be adding the hardwood in and then you can see that this house had its own type of nosing which is basically a one by six of oak and we'll be actually removing this and putting in our own nosing to match and you can see here that these nosings are just squared off we're going to actually put in a nice full nose that will match the stairs which the staircase going up it's a split level and the staircase going down we'll be adding side skirts up going up white painted to match the new trim that will be white painted uh, same with going down and then on the outside we'll be mitering the side skirts with the risers for a nice clean look and we'll also be making a time lapse of that process of adding our own nosing down the hallway master bedroom uh, we'll be adding flush frame vents which are vents that actually stay in flush with the floor and have a floating insert in them. Uh, closet, they are keeping carpet in the closet. And then the guest bedroom. And they'll be doing some new white closet doors also. <laughs> Here's the main living room. You can see I've got the, a little bit of the install started over there at the nosing. Um, this particular house, the joists were actually running the length of the house. Um, it's a townhome. That's pretty uncommon. Usually they'd run uh, this way uh, on the short side of the house. So uh, with code, we have to go perpendicular to the joists. So this is the way it had to run. Um, homeowner didn't mind at all. Uh, the only disadvantage is you don't get that run down the length of the hallway. But we do start on the nosing just so we can have a full piece there. You can see I'm racked out here. 
Um, the subfloor is blue because that's our roll-on moisture barrier. It's better than uh, tar paper, significantly better than rosin paper, which is an even code. Um, and it allows us to glue to the floor when we need to. Uh, two and a quarter, we don't need to glue each piece, but we do glue the perimeters and the nosings. You can see this is how we rack out. Uh, transition into the tile, as you can see, uh, nice and flush. If it is a different height, we'll ramp down or ramp up to it. But that's, that's gonna be, that's glued and splined into the floor. And then we glue each piece to that. So it's one unit when it's done and they last a long time. You don't get that board movement over time like you see on so many uh, wood floors and laminate floors. Here's the nosing. This is what um, took a large majority of the time yesterday. Um, we replaced that old one by six piece of oak. It's a bull nosing. And then these rooms are just prepped and ready for install. So we gotta cut the jams. You can see the jams and the casing of the doors are a little low. So we'll actually come in and cut them up to the, the height of the flooring so the floor can slip right under there. And then all the vents here will eventually get flush frame vents. But we'll show you that after they're completed. And next week we'll be also starting on installing the side skirts for the stairs, which is going to be white painted, the risers, which is going to be white painted, and the actual stair treads. So, thanks for joining.
Let's do another quick update on this project. It's been, oh, I think three days, maybe four days. Um, so we have this area finished off today. Um, you can see how we finish out that transition. It's actually got a small gap there that we will fill with some sanded pellets so that it looks more like the grout. Um, got some samples down. They are going to go with this particular sample, which is oil sealer and a commercial finish. And you can see this, this uh, tile is cut back a little further than the other section, but that, uh, that small gap also will get a little sanded caulk. Finish that off after we finish the floor, of course. Stairs are still the same. Um, we'll be working on those in about three days. And this transition had tile that was a little lower, so we actually had to ramp it down a little bit. Um, and this room's all done. Got our stuff in there that we can, once we start sanding, we'll be getting this out of here. And this is the last room. All we have left is this little section, which we'll finish up tomorrow. And then we will start sanding everything. Hopefully get it sealed with, uh, get it sealed on Thursday, coat of finish on Friday. And then before we do the final coat, we're actually gonna start putting baseboard up. They're going with white trim, start working on the stairs and uh, put this railing system back on. So stay tuned. getting near the end of the project and I figured I'd do one more quick walkthrough show you where we're at before we finish up we got two more days um, the floor has been sanded uh, oil sealer and a coat of finish we have one more coat of finish but as you can see we got it nice and smooth right now um, nice and flat so um, but before we put that last coat on we did all the baseboard work you might hear some noise downstairs as our employee Ben is cleaning up. He's the stair guy and he's doing a nice job on these stairs. We got the top and bottom one to fit in there, but you can see that we scribe each step to the side skirts. So we got a nice tight fit. Um, 
And then we even miter the side skirts into the riser. This is all white painted, so the trim and the side skirts will have a painter come in, fill, caulk, do everything. We don't do the painting other than a few coats prior to putting up just for um, not having to cut in on the floor. Really like the color with the white trim. Usually we do a lot of dark with white trim, but this oil sealer looks fantastic. Um, the homeowner, I believe, is gonna be eventually upgrading the doors and the casing to white trim, but as all homeowners know, you gotta pick off a few things at a time. And then the flush vents, you can see the frame around the heat register. And we have the inserts at the shop that go in flush. So they have a nice finished look. And then the transitions like this that to the tile, this tile was a little lower. So we actually just ease this edge down and then we'll fill this gap with a sanded caulk that matches the grout. Gives a little room for expansion and contraction. Same with this one, although this, this one was the same level. And other than that, we're just about finished up. We do have the railing system. As you can see, the old railing system is gonna be going back up um, and the new posts. And uh, they'll be dropping right down onto our floor with the bull nose, which is a nice clean look compared to just using the old two by, or one by sixes that the house originally had. So stay tuned. <music> up here I'm just back putting on some doors and caulking the seam between the tile and the wood and then that should be just about it for this project we got the railing system back on you can see how we ran the wood all the way up and had our own nosings installed that way we could drop the baluster system right down onto our floor um, Wood stairs are up. You can see we added uh, side skirts. We add side skirts to all our projects. We don't cut in between the sheetrock. I'll just go down the stairs here and show you a little bit how we do the outsides. No end grain, even on white painted, we still miter the side skirts to the risers and do a nice return, inch and a half return here. Nice round over, nice clean look. Uh, risers, we did coat them. Uh, a few times, same with the side skirts, but um, we leave it to the painters to fill, caulk, and apply the last coat on paint because uh, professional painters do a better job painting than we do. So, um, and with white caulk on baseboards and risers and side skirts, um, it's important to have that finished look. So that needs to be done uh, after the installation. You can see the homeowner's got a lot of furniture in here already and that's a flush vent that they we do that uh, these on almost all our installs you can see how this is all sanded flush with the floor but the inserts come out so you can have access to the vents
and then the master bedroom with a nice clean tile transition. So really happy with how this floor turned out. Very flat with our planetary sanding system. Nice clean satin sheen. And I hope the customers are happy also.